when Adam first gave us the challenge, uh, I was a little concerned because I typically work best uh, given assignment. This challenge is more open-ended. In fact, it's only open-ended. You guys can build whatever you want. I'm scrambling at this point because I really don't know what I'm going to make. I think he enjoyed the ridiculous pile of junk that I had obtained from Urban Ore. I think that spoke to him. I, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say you have, looks like you have utilized everything, including the kitchen sink. What the hell are you making? So what I came up with is a jetpack. A jetpack? A jetpack, yeah. Two days to make a jetpack out of that? You are an ambitious man. For the mechanical function of the jetpack, uh, the idea I had was for the wings to pop up. So I found this old ski rack that would operate off of the uh, like pneumatic tube you have for like a screen door closer. I just need to knock this out. This is like the number one thing. And then after that, it's all the fun stuff where you get it just to make it look cool. That works. That mechanism worked great, just like I wanted it to. And I wanted to have a release mechanism so you could like have a hand control for the jetpack and pop that. And I got one of those little flexible part grabbers. It has a little claw at the end. And I rigged that up to just a regular old slide bolt for like your door. That'll work. And so the cables from each wing connected to that and then you hit the cable and release and it worked great. It worked better than I could have hoped. And so I was installing it and the claw just crapped out. It broke. Mm. I think I'm gonna have to figure something else out because this isn't working. It's a little bit of an <laughs> moment, yes. <laughs> and that was like about 15 minutes before Adam arrived, I think. <laughs> this is mortified. Sean, how's it going? I hit a few bumps. Yeah? Yeah. So this works exactly like I wanted to and it went together relatively quickly. Mm -hmm. So then my release mechanism, that worked great until this broke. <laughs> oh, this broke. <laughs> this broke. Uh, it's beyond repair. If I'm right, the wings are a one-time activator. Because I don't think you need to be so fancy if it's a one-time activation. Yeah, yeah. You can just, you know, rip cord. I am going to have to do something simpler just to, to get it done because I need to get the actual... Uh, You've got a lot of aesthetizing to take care of too. Yes. It'll, it'll get done. It'll all right, get done. all right. <laughs> Good luck, man. <laughs> Trying to cobble all this stuff together under such a time constraint and you're showing it to Adam Savage. So yeah, that was a little stressful. When you've got to aestheticize it, sometimes that is something you can wait too long for and you've got a wish list and you start having to jettison all the stuff that makes it look cool. Paint only dries so fast. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, I hope they have a lot of hair dryers around. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to take a breather on the release mechanism because I, I just, it's, uh, I have way more other things to do. So I started working on the wings. It's making out of corrugated plastic and they're gonna basically attach up here and by gravity then it should open up. They had these nice hinges here but I need to add longer screws to add the wings so I gotta drill out the rivets to add my own screws in. It smells like burning. <laughs> I'm happy. Getting ready to paint. Um, I roughed everything else up so that even without primer, it'll stick okay. I'm gonna weather it anyway, so if it gets a little beat up, it's gonna be all right, but I need this ready for tomorrow. Uh, this is gonna be the jet nozzle. So I bought two of these things. I tried to blue it, make it look you know, like it was flame burn, and I just melted the crap out of it. So then I went ahead and decided to use the battle damage one because it's kind of more appropriate for it anyway. I don't even know what these are, but I bought a ton of them because they look cool. And so I joined these two together, make kind of a mega nozzle. Sean. Good morning, Adam. Good morning, sir. Look, dude, you have been making hay while the sun was shining. I feel wow. better than I did yesterday when I saw you. Yeah. I would imagine. I've never made wings before, so I was just kind of making it up, but uh, it's, it worked okay. All right. This is, it's pretty cool. It's, it's a little, it's a little it, blank here. He definitely gave me a kick in the butt on that. Just think about breaking up the surface, both negative space and positive. So I ended up cutting the whole back section off. I hoping I didn't make a huge mistake and putting the jet nozzles up inside. So both for aesthetic reasons, because this looks cool and to hide my ugly edge, I am going to crimp these little vents on here, which kind of look neat and I think appropriate for an engine compartment. So we're down to the wire. I think we got the 15 minutes left. 15 minutes. I have bad ankles, it runs in the family, and I kind of twisted my ankle yesterday, and I'm a little unsteady on my feet, so I my ankle went out from under me. Oh, oh, oh. 
guy pulled the whole thing off the table and bent the mechanism for the wings and then there's pins that hold the pneumatics in and they flew out somewhere. Oh, I lost both my pins now. So I kind of messed, I kind of messed it up a little bit. I was getting really, I, the stress level was getting really high. All right. All right, that's it, hands down. In the state that it is now, I'm not 100% happy, but it has a lot of the stuff that I set out to do. The wing mechanism does work. It's just gonna have a manual kind of pull cord release as per Adam's suggestion. It, I, I, I feel okay showing it to Adam. Whenever I first started welding, it was looking like garbage, and I'm just panic mode, like, there's, there's no way I can do this if I keep laying down crappy welds. Oh, look at those. You could have a camera and a baby. 